Hey, y'all want to do something fun? You want to go work outside, play in the sun a little bit? Let's go do something fun, or maybe not so fun. Better put your gloves on for this one. Maybe a pair of boots, too. Hey y'all, this is Rob, and I figured before I got completely done with this job, I'd show you. Not everything down on the farm, as they say, is uh, fun and glamour. Of course, we got West Texas here, so we're plenty of wind noise. But you can see the cows down there enjoying the good life, drinking out of the rare lake that we have. When the rain comes, the low spots fill up with water. We call them Playa Lakes. I've told you about them. So the cows are good down there. Lots of good green stuff for them to eat, although we need a rain again. But the reason they're drinking water down there, besides the fact that who doesn't like going swimming in a lake bottom, is the fact that the well here quit working for two or three days till I could get parts to fix it. And this tank ran out. And as you can see, the bottom of this tank wasn't the prettiest stuff in the world. We get dirt that blows, we get plants that blow, and we get cows that slobber and spit, no telling what else in here. So you have to think about that when you decide to cool off on a hot day and get in one of these and swim. You just have to be ready to deal with it. But since it was low, not quite dry, I figured now would be a good time to clean some of the muck. We're mucking out the bottom of it, and you can see a pretty good pile of stuff that came out. I gotta believe that'd be good in the garden. I'm not inclined to load it up and take it home though. And if we plant anything in here, the cows will just eat it. But between the bucket and the shovel, we're getting it out. There's a little bit left. Lots of snail shells in there. Who would have thought it would look like this? The next time I'm wandering around thinking, gee, look at all these snail shells here. Maybe there used to be an ocean. Maybe they just got carried there kind of the way these did, because this isn't an ocean. Anyway, I thought y'all would enjoy that. Working with cows, doing stuff out here, I love it. But some parts of it are uh, a little bit yuckier than others. I had some on me, I guess I washed it off though, or wiped it off on something. Probably wiped it on my pants, because that's what you do. That's what jeans are for, for wiping your hands on. And here comes the tractor, and I bet I'm gonna have to move my pickup. What do you wanna bet? Because I'll bet he is bigger than I've left him room for. All right, I better go move. I wouldn't want him to run over me or anything. There you go. Just thought I'd share it with you. Wish me luck. Hey, how do you like that? He made it. I didn't even have to move. He was able to get over in the ditch good enough. In case y'all don't know it, that's a spray rig. And that reminds me, I got a little video I did of a spray rig and I forgot to post it. I should probably do that. All right, see ya. And so here we are now, the finished product. <laughs> Maybe I'll tell you all what I'm laughing about, probably I won't. But you can see the tank's all mucked out now, all pretty and a little bit of grayness left in there and a couple of pretty good piles. Uh, sludge. sludge, yes. <clears throat> and uh, so anyway, it smells worse than it looked, or actually it looked pretty bad too. Anyway, we're gonna turn the well on now. <clears throat> Place the capacitor, and so we're gonna get that going. We're gonna get our amperage, our amperage exactly where it should be. Pretty sure. It'll come up a little bit. We're 200 feet down from the water, so it's gonna take it. The moment we get here, that's doesn't completely obliterate everything. By the time the water gets up here, it ought to be pulling about eight to eight and a half amps. We shall see. This is one of those times when you have to have faith. Don't you love West Texas wind? that beautiful. Fresh cold water in a hot dry land is a wonderful place. For those of y'all who are 
across the Pocky River and lakes. You don't know, but this right here is the source of life in this part of the world. And we are pulling, look at there, about 8.2 amps, which that's not bad. That's not bad. Now to me it looks like it's a little bit slow right there, but... Close, I mean it's slower than it was five years ago. Yeah, yeah. Did you look at the... The pressure I did not. Anyway, it works, and we got water, and, and we have something good to drink, and that helps too. And uh, there we go. So, job well done. Y'all can pat me on the back if you're convinced. All right, thanks, y'all.